the Hilton dump site, the main waste disposal area for Nakuru, the fourth largest town in Kenya, and home to hundreds of families. Dan Mew was inspired to set up his African Adventures Foundation based in Eastleigh after volunteering in Nakuru 10 years ago. The charity already supports young children at an existing school, but wants to give a future to older youngsters. And at the moment, at the age of seven, many drop out of school altogether because the fees and costs associated of primary school are prohibitive for many. So the construction of a primary school will guarantee an education for those children from the age of eight to 14. Students from Chichester College have been supporting the charity since 2010, volunteering in Nakuru. School children across the South fundraising too. At this time in our country, when funds are so short for our own schools, our own hospitals, how difficult a job are you taking on? Things may be tough for us, but we're still the fifth richest country in the world. And whilst that remains the case, I think we have a moral obligation to look beyond our own lives and beyond our own shores and look at people that genuinely struggle to feed themselves on a daily basis. I think the cutbacks that we've had in this country recently have been challenging and I think that that's not going to change anytime soon. But the vast majority of people in this country have that safety net which is just not shared in places like Kenya. The new school is already under construction due to open in September. Dan is planning a 700 mile sponsored cycle ride through Kenya into Tanzania to boost funds. Wild animals, rough terrain and intense heat, no deterrent for this young man determined to help others. Kerry Swain, ITV News.